So in this session, we are going to create a, a global class. We are going to create a global class in. Uh, we are going to create a global class in the Eclipse, and then we'll make use of that in the um, global class. We are going to make use of in a program. So let me open the Eclipse here. So in the ABAP, we are working on ABAP on Eclipse, and here we will be going ahead and uh, if at all if the ABAP perspective is not open like this, you can go to the Windows perspective, open perspective, others, and you can select ABAP here. So the ABAP, ABAP perspective will open, and here just if you already have created a pack project. You don't have to create it again, but if you click on the create an app project, you can have this. And in this, you can go ahead with the uh, the server details. Just let me So in this, we'll click on create project. By default, it should come. Let me close it and open again. Because once we run that, automatically that server should be visible here. So for creating a global class, we need to right click on the package and new class, about class. So in this, I'm creating the class name as zba underscore c1. This is a global class. Global class one, you click on next. And this is a request, new request from uh, Program. New request for Vikram Aditya is what we have. It's already there. The request number is already created. So what I'll do is I'll create this uh, global class under that particular request. Now the moment we create a class, automatically all these options will come there. I mean, like uh, the public, final, final create public, public section, protected section, and private section. So now public, final, final create public. Just let's 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 not consider this one. Let's go ahead with the public section. So in the public section, we are going to go ahead and write something like, uh, say something like data a of 10 a of 10. You can have a value of value for that, but methods m1 method m1 and method. This will take a right M M1 in C1, something like that. And here we will also write something like A is equals to something like 10. The value of A is 10. These all things we are doing at the class level. Um, Global class level. So whatever we want to declare, we can declare it here. We will do the syntax check.
it contains no errors activate now we created a very simple class and we are going to make use of this class in our program so for that we will go for right click on the program new program ZBA underscore O one. Oops. Program one say okay. And then here we have data OBJ. Type press two. OBJ type F2 set the underscore C1. Data OBJ. Then we have startup selection. Startup startup selection. Inside the startup selection, create object OBJ. Then call method OBJ M1. Right. OBJ A and this is what we have. So we are making use of ZBA underscore C1, which we had just now created as a global class. Since it's a global class, you can use it in n number of programs in n number of scenarios. So we'll go ahead and say syntax check activate then we'll go for this run minus our application so we'll get this am m1 method in c1 that means what we have is a value there Fine. So what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to create a global class now and then make use of that global class in a local program. So global class, creation of global class when compared to the old way of doing it, this is pretty easy. You are doing it just like you are writing a program and then activating it and everything else will be followed there. This is what we have. So I'll be sharing the code in, in the blog. In the blog www.agabeducation.blogspot.com. So I'll be sharing the code in this blog.